Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. And in the previous video, we talked about joins. So this video, in this video, I will talk about the keep, which is similar to join, uh, but what it does is uh, like join. Uh, so what join does is uh, it combine both the tables and create just one single table, whereas keep basically keeps the tables separate but uh, make a join based on what keep statement you are specifying so for example uh, if you want that uh, all of these uh, return orders should be part of this table but this return table should also be there maybe for some other analytics pur analytics purpose uh, then in that case instead of join you should use keep so let me show you what I meant by that. So I have written, uh, I have uh, joined right now. So let me um, save and uh, load the data. So app is saved and everything is done. I'm click close. So if I see it over here in the data model viewer, you will, uh, let me just get it there. Right, so here uh, you have only two tables. So we have uh, orders table and uh, we have this returns table. So what it, what it has done is uh, it has created an outer join and whatever the first table name was there, uh, it has capped that table name, right? So if I go back into the Data log editor and click OK for now. Here you will see that uh, we have uh, returns table um, and uh, we have orders table as well as this sheet one uh, table that is there. But in the data model viewer, you just have two tables and the return table is combined with the orders table right so over here here are all the fields uh, related to the order tables so but uh, if you see uh, keep so let me go ahead and uh, apply the keep which is same as join so you can have left keep right keep all those different things which I explained about the join in the last video so if I just say keep right you can have keep table name like I mentioned if there is any other table other than the previous one then uh, you need to specify the table name otherwise leave it as it is keep so what it will do is it will create again outer join but it will keep the two tables different so let me save and load that and click on close now let me go into the data model viewer and uh, it should show us three tables yeah synthetic table is something which we are not counting because that's a different thing now as you can see uh, we have uh, returns right we have orders and we have the sheet one with three different tables so that's that's basically the difference is uh, in a nutshell uh, let me go into the data node editor so in a nutshell uh, join basically combine two tables and create one single resultant table but keep lets you not only join the table but keep the table separate as well let in case if you need those tables for some other analytics or data modeling or any other purpose so that's a very interesting feature uh, initially it will take some time for you to digest but I guess if you will encounter a situation where uh, you need this kind of uh, functionality, I think that's kind of a boon uh, in this case and uh, pretty interesting as well. So that's pretty much about it uh, in this video and I will meet in the new video with a new topic.